What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 3.4 of the tutorial series on AWS Cloud Formation. So guys, in this tutorial, we will go through one of the intrinsic functions that is split function. So basically the intrinsic function split is used to split a string into a list of string values. And then probably we can use the select function to pick or select an element from the resulting string list. So now let's try to understand it with an example. So we will go through the syntax of the split. So again, there are two ways to use or define the split function. So that is fn colon colon split followed by colon and a list or the square braces. Now this square braces or a list accepts two parameters. Uh, the first one is the delimiter, delimiter followed by the another parameter that is the source string. Right. So this is the uh, one of the way. The another way is to use the short of that. That is exclamation split space square braces again two parameters. So the first one is going to be the delimiter and second one is going to be your string. Right. So let's have a look at the example. So if I say split square braces delimiter. So let's say I want to separate values by comma. for a particular string, let's say ABC comma XYZ, right? So what this split function will do, it will split the string by ABC and XYZ. And it will basically return something like this, that is a list. So it would be ABC comma XYZ. And then we can use the select function to select one of the values. So it would be something like this that is a select function so select function we have already covered in one of the previous tutorial so you can refer to that if you want so we will say select square braces now this will accept two parameters that is the index value right so i will say i want to fetch the value at the zero index comma the list of the values so the result of the select and split function would be ABC, correct? Why ABC? Because we want to fetch the value at the zero index. And if we look at the zero index, it's going to be the ABC. And if I say one, then the outcome would be XYZ, correct? So basically what will happen? This split function will return something like this. So let's say, let me cut it from here. So this would be the result of the split function that is a, b, c, x, y, z. Now it's going to be a simple select function. So select the value at index one and the value at the index one is x, y, z, right? So this is how it works. So here uh, in this tutorial, I have this template. So it basically creates the S3 bucket. So I have took a very simple example that I want to create a bucket with the name that is at zero index after the split. Right, so here I have used the split function. So let's say this is my split function, copy, paste, right? I want to split the string by a pipe symbol as a delimiter, right? So the outcome would be a three list, right? That is random bucket hyphen name, comma, random bucket hyphen name one, random bucket hyphen name two. Right. And I want to select the value at the zero index. That's where I have used the select function. So the outcome will be, or the name of the bucket would be random bucket hyphen name. Right. So this was the quick example of the split function. So now let's navigate to the AWS management console and the cloud formation service and say create stack. Now here we will say template is ready. Upload a template file, choose a file. I will say S3 underscore split and we will say next enter the stack name split demo. I will say, say next, next again and say create stack. So now as you can see, the stack creation is completed. Now we can click on resources and have a look at the S3 bucket. So as you can see, the name of the bucket is random bucket hyphen name. Correct. So that's where the value at zero index is random bucket hyphen name. Correct. 
So basically this is how you can use the split function along with the select function. So guys, uh, we can also split the value that is imported via import value function from another stack using split function, right? So we will certainly have a look at the import function while we go through the cross stack reference. So guys, till that time, uh, that's it for now. And if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below. And I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.